Louis Alexander Berthier, first Prince de Wagram, first Duc de Valangan, first Sovereign Prince of Neuchâtel, was a Marshal and Vice Constable of France beginning in 1808 and Chief of Staff under Napoleon. Early life. Alexandra was born on 20 February 1753 at Versailles to Lieutenant Colonel Jean-Baptiste Berthier an officer in the Corps of Topographical Engineers, and first wife Marie-Francoise Louis-Lier de la Serre. He was the eldest of five children, with the three brothers also serving in the French army, two becoming generals during the Napoleonic Wars. Military career. As a boy he was instructed in the military art by his father, an officer of the Corps de Genie, and at the age of 17 he entered the army serving successively in the staff, the engineers and the Prince de Lamasque's dragoons. In 1780 he went to North America with Rochambeau, and on his return, having attained the rank of colonel, he was employed in various staff posts and in a military mission to Prussia. During the Revolution, as Chief of Staff of the Versailles National Guard, he protected the sisters of Louis XVI from popular violence and aided their escape. In the War of 1792 he was at once made Chief of Staff to Marshal Luckner, and he bore a distinguished part in the Argonne campaign of Dumouriez and Kellerman. He served with great credit in the Vendée on War of 1793 to 1795, and was in the next year made a General of Division and Chief of Staff to the Army of Italy, which Bonaparte had recently been appointed to command. He played an important role in the Battle of Rivoli, relieving Barthélemy Joubert when the latter was attacked by the Austrian general Joseph Alvancy. His power of work, accuracy and quick comprehension, combined with his long and varied experience and his complete mastery of detail, made him the ideal chief of staff to a great soldier, and in this capacity he was Napoleon's most valued assistant for the rest of his career. He accompanied Napoleon throughout the brilliant campaign of 1796, and was left in charge of the army after the Treaty of Campo Formio. He was in this post in 1798 when he entered Italy, invaded the Vatican, organized the Roman Republic, and took the Pope Pius VI as prisoner back to Valence where, after a torturous journey under Berthier's supervision, the Pope died, dealing a major blow to the Vatican's political power which, however, did not prove as ephemeral as that of the First Empire. After this he joined his chief in Egypt, serving there until Napoleon's return. He assisted in the coup d'état TAT of 18 Brumaire, afterwards becoming Minister of War for a time. In the campaign of Marengo he was the nominal head of the Army of Reserve, but the First Consul accompanied the army and Berthier acted in reality, as always, as Chief of Staff to Napoleon. Lest one think this was a relatively safe job, such as modern staff officers, a contemporary subordinate staff officer, Brossier, reports that at the Battle of Marengo, the General-in-Chief Berthier gave his orders with the precision of a consummate warrior, and at Marengo maintained the reputation that he so rightly acquired in Italy and in Egypt under the orders of Bonaparte. He himself was hit by a bullet in the arm. Two of his aides de camp, Du Talis and Laborde, had their horses killed. At the close of the campaign he was employed in civil and diplomatic business. This included a mission to Spain in August 1800, which resulted in the retrocession of Louisiana to France by the Treaty of San Ildefonso, the 1st of October 1800, and led to the Louisiana Purchase. When Napoleon Bonaparte deposed King Frederick William III of Prussia from the Principality of the Canton of Neuchâtel, Berthier was appointed its governor. It lasted until 1814 and also brought him the title of Sovereign Prince. When Napoleon became Emperor, Berthier was at once made a Marshal of the Empire. He took part in the campaigns of Austerlitz, Jena and Friedland, and was created Duke of Alangen in 1806. 
sovereign prince of Neuchâtel in the same year and vice-constable of the empire in 1807. In 1808 he served in the Peninsular War, and in 1809 he served in Austrian theatre during War of the Fifth Coalition, after which he was given the title of Prince of Wagram. He was with Napoleon in Russia in 1812, Germany in 1813, and France in 1814, fulfilling, till the fall of the French Empire, the functions of Major General of the Grand AARME QT. Following Napoleon's first abdication, Berthier retired to his 600-acre estate and resumed his hobbies of falconry and sculpture. He made peace with Louis XVIII in 1814, and accompanied the king on his solemn entry into Paris. During Napoleon's short exile on Elba, he informed Berthier of his projects. Berthier was much perplexed as to his future course and, being unwilling to commit to Napoleon, fell under the suspicion both of his old leader and of Louis XVIII. On Napoleon's return to France, Berthier withdrew to Bamberg, where he died a few weeks later on 1 June 1815 in a fall from an upstairs window. The manner of his death is uncertain. According to some accounts, he was assassinated by members of a secret society. Others say that, maddened by the sight of Prussian troops marching to invade France, he threw himself from his window and was killed. Character Assessment Berthier was not a great field commander. When he was in temporary command in 1809, the French army in Bavaria underwent a series of reverses. His merit as a general was completely overshadowed by the genius of his emperor. He is nevertheless renowned for his excellent organizing skills and being able to understand and carry out the emperor's directions to the minutest. Detail, Marriage and Family On 9 March 1808 Berthier married Duchess Maria Elizabeth in Bavaria, only daughter of Duke Wilhelm in Bavaria and Countess Palatine Maria Anna of Zweibruck in Birkenfeld Rappolstein, the sister of King Maximilian I Joseph of Bavaria. They had one son and two daughters. Napoleon Alexandra, second duke married on 29 June 1831 Zenaide Françoise Clary and had issue, extinct in male line in 1918. Caroline Josephine married on 9 October 1832 Alphonse Napoleon, Baron Dortpool. Marie Anne married on 24 June 1834 Jules Lebrun, third duke of Plaisance.